if you've ever thought about growing figs before, um, you might be from London, you might be from California, you might be somewhere in Europe, but if you've ever gone down the uh, rabbit hole of different fig varieties and um, different fig types, there's something you've probably come across, and that is a name of a fig, then with the letters MP after it. For a while, I, I wondered what that means, but you know, with a little bit of light research, it's easy to find out what it means. And, and what it stands for is Montserrat Pons, which is the name of a man who has dedicated most of his life to fig trees. And he has um, some land, quite a lot of land, in the centre of Mallorca in Spain. Uh, and that is exactly where I am today. Um, and so I'm really, really happy to be here today because we are in the middle of Montserrat Pons's orchard, which has, uh, I think, about 2,000 varieties. Um, and it's just got figs, fig trees everywhere. So we are in October at the moment. So it is a little bit late for, for kind of tasting and, and picking fruit. But you know, there, there is just so much, there's so much growing. It's just insane. I've never seen it. You know, you, again, if you've, you've been down that rabbit hole, wormhole rabbit hole, I'm not too sure. If you've been down that route of looking uh, on YouTube and stuff like that about people who grow figs, you see some really, really impressive setups. Um, people having massive fields, you know, or, or lots of containers together. But this is something completely different. This is field after field after field, acre after acre of just so many different types of fig trees. And it's not just figs that are native to Mallorca and the islands that are around Mallorca. There are figs from Afghanistan, there are figs from Japan, there are figs from Southern America, there's even some from Australia. Um, and so what Montserrat Pons does is he collects these and he finds a place to put them and this location is absolutely ideal. So if we were to grow these in, in London for example where I'm from um, it would be very very different, the taste would be very very different and I just had a, well I've just been really lucky enough to have a private tour with him with the owner and the founder of this incredible site and he tells me that humidity uh, the amount of sun, the amount of sun hours, the, the heat from the sun are all really, really vital to the types of figs that he produces. Uh, and so talking to him, you know, I asked what he does with the figs and he says that it doesn't matter what he does with the figs, the production doesn't matter. What really matters to him is the conservation of these figs. So what really matters to him is documenting everything properly, you know, in a scientific way, with a scientific method, and making sure that um, all of this information is retained and kept and passed on to future generations. So when you talk to him, if you, if you ever get the chance to meet him, you, you soon and very quickly realise that it's not about, okay, cool, how, how many different types of jams does he make or what's the best flavour, what's the best taste? It's all about preserving and, and documenting all of these different uh, incredible figs. So... I feel so fortunate to be here today. Um, again, I am late in the season, so when it comes to tasting, there's not really much that I can have because mostly everything has finished uh, producing. But it's just such a joy to be here. And um, yeah, if you've ever wondered what MP stands for after the name of a fig, whether it's uh, Victoria MP or Princessa or Princessa MP, you know, it stands for Montserrat Ponds because these varieties that he's cultivated or he's found or he's discovered. And if there is something that he doesn't know about figs, then it's really not worth knowing because like when you talk to him, his passion is just insane. It, it's like he lives for this. He says this is his paradise. This is where he, he loves. And he, you know, it's a lot of work maintaining these fields. And there's him and a team of two others. And he says that he loves it. He says, you know, and he's not a spring chicken. He's, he's an older guy, you know, maybe in his 70s. And he loves it. So yeah, so this is Mallorca. This is the, the fig, I guess, research station. Uh, if you were ever in the area and you enjoy fresh fruit or fresh food or fresh produce or learning more about culture and, and food and how those two things tie into, 
I would definitely recommend to come and check out this place. Um, but yeah, I've tried to make some more videos just to show you how incredible it is, but such a wonderful place to be right now.